Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're here for episode 2 of Kurumwood at the Bahrain Grand Prix and our first lap in qualifying puts us in 16th as we cut on to the end of the session and we're going to have to try and improve here on this time as we're going to open the DRS now and where will this lap time put us? With that then, let's run through the grid order. Kimi Raikkonen's perfect lap yesterday sees him start from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Vettel, Bottas, Max Verstappen and Ricardo, Hülkenberg, Alonso, Sainz and Sergio Perez, Ocon, Grosjean, The Professor and Gasly, Van Dorn, Leclerc, Lance Stroll and Marcus Ericsson, Magnussen. They've taken a grid penalty and Sergei Sorokin rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. So we are starting P13 for this Bahrain Grand Prix and it's lights out and away we go. Starting one position ahead of our teammate, but already he's made the jump on us at the start there. Getting a much better start than us, but we're going to try and look to the inside and go up the inside with quite a few cars there into turn one and... Let's just see if we can avoid some contact there as there's two cars on the inside so we had to give a lot of space on the inside there. But we're up into P10 and now as we cut to the start of lap 4 we've got DRS on the Renault of Hockenberg who's ahead and we go up the inside for a move. Can we make it stick here? And yes we can and we're up to P9 now in this race but now as we cut to lap 5 and now we're under pressure from Esteban Ocon in the Force India as he has a look up the inside here and he is still to our right here and we're going to see if we can try and hold off the position here but he's still to our side and he's going to try and see if he can overtake us into turn 4 here and he'll stay up the inside and will he make it stick on us? Yes he does for the moment so now we're back down into P10 but can we try and re-overtake the Force India car? We have a wee look Right that side there and we get very close to the back there and now as we go into the hairpin corner we're going to go for a move and is it going to work here and we're going to make it stick yes we are and that's us back up into P9 but now we cut on later to the lap and Ocon is looking up the inside again and now he is side by side and he's gone in front of us again so this is good attacking from Ocon here and now we're under pressure back from Hülkenberg as well who goes up our inside as well so we're going back a bit here from the progress that we made and now we're down into P11 as we put the car up into Rich Mix so can we see if we can we overtake the Renault of Hülkenberg we go for a wee look but then Hülkenberg parks a wee bit on the exit so there's a bit of contact between us and that puts us ahead and now as we cut onto lap 7 we're coming into the pits for a set of soft compound tyres and that will put us down the order a bit but now as we cut onto the next lap it's the Renault of Hulkamer coming out the pits, but it's the Renault of Science who dives up her inside, and that means that both Renaults are ahead of us here. As we try to see if we can get back past Hulkamer, but it's not enough. And now we're going to cut on to the start of lap 10 here, and we've got DRS on Hulkamer, and we're going to go and overtake him. But we've also got to see if we can look up the inside of Ericsson and of Science as well, and that is a triple overtake if we can make this move stick, and yes, we can. And that's up to P12 now. But now as we cut on to lap 11, we're going to be under pressure from Science once again. And we try and defend from it, but it's not enough as Science overtakes us there. With a bit of ease there, unfortunately for us. But we can see if we can try and, and stick it around the outside, but we're not able to do so. So as we cut on to lap 15, the safety cars come out. And that's our cue to come into the pits for a set of medium compound tires to hopefully go to the end of the race. But now cutting to the restart on lap 17, we've been a wee bit sluggish there, but that means we're going to be under pressure from Hulkamerk who goes up our inside, but we also got the inside of Science and Sorotkin, but Sorotkin holds it around the outside and re overtakes both of us there, and can we try and re overtake him here? Heading to turn 4, we've got the ERS into overtake mode, and can we complete the move into turn 4? Yes, we can, and that's us up into P12, and it's Charles Leclerc who's up next and it's on to lap 20 and we've got the DRS on him we've come from quite far back and we are now side by side into turn 1 here and can we make the move stick? yes we can as Sorokin is out of this race unfortunately for him but now as we got on to lap 21 
it is Alonso and Ocon who are side by side and Ocon's been forced wide and we can take full advantage of that and we say thank you very much I'll take P6 and now we've got Alonso up next on the road and but he is going to come back at us does Esteban Ocon and we do have to try and have good defence from him there and now as we cut on top 22 it is Esteban Ocon who's coming at us as he tries to take the position back from us here and can we try and hold it around the outside here but I'll turn to the inside and there's a bit of wheel contact there and it's Esteban Ocon who keeps the position here but now as we cut to lap 23 we've got the DRS on the Force India driver and we go up the inside can we make the move stick here and can we complete it here yes we can and that's us back up into P6 here for the moment as now we cut on to lap 25 and now we're going to be under pressure from Bottas who has had to make an extra pit stop after the safety car as well as Kimi Raikkonen as well who is also now behind us after the overtaking of Bottas on us and now Raikkonen is going to be side by side with us now and he's going to also take us and now that will put us down to P8 now in this race and now there's, we've also got Vettel behind us as well so he's had to stop as well as now as we cut on to the start of lap 27 Vettel takes us with ease but it has not been a good start to the season for the Ferrari team with the double DNF at Australia and now they're not even going to win this race as we come across the line to take P9 and that's another very good result for us and so if you have enjoyed the video do leave a like share the video around and subscribe to the channel to see more videos on F1 2018 so I will see you next time for another video and goodbye.